So this is uh, Nicholas. I'm going to provide you with a, a demonstration um, of a few examples when I'm playing phrase detectives. And uh, in the meantime, I will also provide some comments on each decision. So let's start with this document. Maryland Route 36. Okay, Mount Savage, the possible referent, and the road between Frostburg and Mount Savage. So this is incorrect because you have a different noun phrase. You have Frostburg here, but it's absent in the previous mention of Mount Savage. So I'm going to disagree. Then um, we'll search for a combination of these two noun phrases, these two names of towns. Um, Mount Savage is here. I'm going to select it here. So it's hidden, but I will select it nonetheless. We don't see it, but when we uh, put the cursor on the, uh, yeah, we can see it here. Okay. And then Frostburg, the most recent mention is this one. Okay, and then I'm going to confirm this decision. Well, 80 kilometers per hour is this property? I don't think so. For me, it's just the same refund as 50 miles per hour. So I'm going to disagree and then I'm going to identify the most recent mention and confirm. The road, so the road that's MD36, but I see it just here, widen and its speed limit. So I disagree. I'm going to select here the pronoun it's because this is the closest mention to uh, MD36. Okay. Let's confirm this. So every time you make a decision, you have to um, confirm it by clicking on the mm, from its intersection with MD47 to its terminus at Cumberland. That's correct because it um, refers to MD36. So I do agree. And I move on. MD36 intersect MD35, which connects it. I think it is MD36 here. So I'm going to disagree and select the most recent mention of MD36. Done. US route 40 alternate. Um, <laughs> US route 40 alternate. Oh, I see it here. In the first paragraph, second line, um, I don't see it uh, elsewhere. I'm going to disagree and to select. Oh, no, I cannot select it, you see, because it's a different noun phrase here. So actually, I, I don't know, I'm a bit confused. And I'm going to indicate that the closest phrase cannot be selected. Cumberland, that is the closest mention, that's correct. MD36, that's the closest mention, the reference is the same. In recognition of this, I don't think that this is the George Creek Valley. I think maybe it's a long history of coal mining that is the reference. So a long history of coal mining is, is a hidden phrase, so you don't see it right now, but you have to move the cursor on the sentence and then you see it displayed. Confirm. Um, the MDSHA. I think that's um, correct. That is the first mention. Uh, I designated MD36 as part of the college. Um, I mean, that's a property. Being part of this heritage is a property of um, the root. So I'm going to disagree. I click on this is a property, and then I select um, what this is the property of. And I confirm. Coal mining. That is correct. Coal mining was a major industry. So this was a property because we have uh, the verb to be. So this is a copula. 
this is a property, and I also systematically select the, the antecedent. And so this is a property of the subject. I select the subject. Railroads being the major route connecting blah, blah, blah. Uh, I disagree because that's a property. Yeah? When I have the verb to be, I think that's a property. So property plus the subject are selected here. So let's do one more uh, coal mining, but you don't have coal mines. So coal mines hasn't been, uh, hasn't been mentioned before. I do agree with this suggestion, the George Quigley. Yes, that's correct. Although that's not obvious because you have a relative phrase here, relative clause, huh? which has a long history of coal mining. But I think that the reference is the same. It's the George Creek Valley in both cases. So I do agree. This is a property indeed, but I would like to select the subject to select deep mining as well. So I will disagree with this decision. Uh, oh, yeah, I cannot select deep mining. So I'm a bit disappointed, but still, um, I will indicate that the closest phrase cannot be selected here. Then you move on to the next decision. Western Maryland, that is correct. That's the closest mention. Of the non-phrase, Maryland coal production. Um, you have coal mining, coal mines, but you don't have production of something. So I will agree. This hasn't been mentioned before. And let's do one more. Maryland coal production is now only a small fraction of total U.S. coal production. That's correct. You have the verb to be. This is the subject. Maryland coal production and a small fraction of total US coal production can be seen as a property of the subject. So I will agree. So we are almost halfway through this case. Um, in general, it takes me five minutes for a case of 50 uh, decisions, 50 tasks. But here, of course, uh, it took me a bit longer because I provided uh, feedback and comments. Voila, so um, I would be happy to give you more tips and tricks if you want to learn more about uh, phrase detectives. And I hope that um, you, you really got into the, the concept in the game. So see you later and uh, enjoy phrase detectives. <laughs>